Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, the HTML uh, basic introduction part. Okay. So if you look into the uh, slide here, uh, you have uh, so what is the definition of uh, HTML? Okay. So HTML is uh, uh, defined as or uh, described as hypertext uh, markup language. It is an acronym for that. Uh, it is a language which consists of set of uh, markup tags. Okay, so built-in tags. Uh, it contains a lot of built-in tags. So all we need to do is uh, just use those tags and uh, so build some uh, uh, web pages, uh, both static and dynamic. Okay. So next we are go uh, going to look into the uh, current uh, versions of HTML, various versions of HTML. Okay. So if we look into this uh, slide here. Okay. So here we have. Uh, the first version of HTML uh, was released in the year 1991 and we have uh, various versions released after that. Uh, it was uh, created by the scientist known as uh, Tim Berners-Lee. Okay. So uh, Tim Berners-Lee has created this hypertext markup language uh, to create web pages and since then it became very hugely popular. The current version of HTML uh, is HTML5. So if you look uh, on the bottom here okay so HTML5 is 2014 uh, standardized version and then we have uh, the HTML page structure here okay so this is this is going to be the structure of uh, HTML uh, which we are going to write uh, programs HTML uh, code here okay the first the very first uh, so here it's a collection of tags here okay so here if you see the HTML is the beginning uh, tag and in the closing in the closing side we have HTML closing tag here okay so in between uh, uh, whatever you write uh, it's going to be our uh, html page uh, and the very first section is the head section here and the head section consists of title okay so title is the uh, page title uh, whatever you give uh, uh, it's recorded as the page title here and then uh, we have a body tag uh, opening body and closing body tag and uh, whatever do you write inside this body tag is going to be the content which is going to be displayed on the web page here okay so there are various tags specified inside the body uh, which is h1 which is used for headings we are going to detail study on each and every tag in the subsequent lessons and paragraph tag is used to put some content in our uh, web pages okay and moving to next we have the very simple example of html5 document okay so as we said that uh, we have uh, the very first tag as HTML. For that we have another uh, tag here, so which is nothing but uh, the document type doc type definition. Okay, so the doc type definition is very essential. This is the very this is the one uh, the, the very first line here, uh, which stands for uh, the document type definition of HTML5, uh, which says that. Uh, this particular document uh, should be rendered uh, using the HTML5 standards to the browser. Okay, so the browser, it's the duty of the browser, it recognizes this uh, doc type uh, definition and uh, uh, renders, renders the page according to the HTML5 uh, semantics or uh, HTML5 syntax. Okay, so it's the duty of uh, browser, uh, we need not uh, worry about this uh, doc type definition much here. Okay, so and then as we've seen in the last uh, HTML uh, structure, uh, HTML page structure. We have the very first tag as HTML opening tag and in the, end, in the bottom we have a HTML closing tag. In between we have all the uh, tags here. Okay, as we discussed here, uh, head tag and body tag and so on and so forth. So this is the very basic uh, HTML uh, uh, page here, okay, example. And then uh, we need to have some uh, tools uh, uh, which are very essential to develop uh, HTML uh, pages. Uh, like uh, so a web browser uh, and HTML editors okay so web browser is very, very essential uh, we need to uh, use the web browser uh, to, uh, to display the pages uh, or whatever the pages we write whatever the tags we write in a dot HTML uh, page whether you are using a notepad or a notepad plus plus or any editor like high-end editor like NetBeans or whatever it might be so both these tools are very essential for us so web browser you might everybody know what is a web browser so web browser is an uh, application software which is used to uh, display web pages uh, application software which is used to uh, display uh, web pages uh, the web content is loaded into the web page as soon as you type the url like uh, www.google.com 
whatever you type uh, it displays the content of that page okay okay so this is the very first page example as displayed in the web browser here okay i think this is a chrome web browser here they have uh, used uh, so this is the web page which looks okay so if you put this document here if you put that document uh, save that document has some dot html extension and if you open that in a using a chrome web browser this is how it looks okay so html it is uh, there are a few listing here okay the most common html editor everybody uses uh, as a beginner you might be using already which is a notepad or text edit okay text edit is for mac users uh, apple mac users a notepad uh, for uh, the windows users okay it's a very basic tool but it is uh, it's a very bad practice to use notepad you must one must use advanced uh, editors like uh, sublime text or uh, or an IDE like uh, NetBeans IDE or Eclipse IDE so whatever uh, you are comfortable you can use those uh, IDEs okay so this is how it looks uh, just uh, to type the code uh, in the notepad okay which is windows based uh, very basic tool for uh, building uh, web pages HTML in notepad so after uh, typing the uh, note HTML uh, code in this notepad you must save that a file as uh, with an extension of html dot html okay and then if you open that in browser this is how it's going to look uh, which we have seen in the previous example here okay so once again i have uh, just displayed that uh, basic html uh, structure page here okay so uh, we will look into the detail uh, each and every uh, tag we have used here uh, the first the very first is the doc type definition which you have uh, set in the previous uh, example and then we have uh, uh, it's opening HTML and closing HTML uh, document. So opening HTML and closing HTML document describes uh, whatever you write between them describes about the HTML document. Here, okay, so uh, the your whole HTML page is arranged between these two uh, tags here. Okay, and then we have a head tag. A head tag consists of various information about the title and. Um, meta tags and uh, link uh, link to the external style sheets or javascript files or so on and so forth uh, so many things in future uh, we, we will use to keep in a head tag here okay and then we have uh, the body tag so whatever the page content uh, whatever the content you need to be uh, displayed on the page is going to be kept in the body tag here okay and then we have h1 and uh, p tags h1 is heading uh, so uh, h1 is the most commonly used uh, tag to describe the headings here okay so if you want to highlight some sort of uh, text uh, with the heading and bold and, and some sort of default styling is applied to that uh, h1 tag here okay and also we have a p tag which is used to put some content in the form of a paragraph okay so doc type declaration okay so uh, here we have uh, a small information about the doc type declaration okay so doc type declaration as i said earlier uh, it uh, uh, tells the browser uh, what type of uh, document it is uh, and what kind of standards uh, the user or a programmer in intended to write the code within okay so by seeing this just very f def doc type definition the browser understands that it is a it is a html five standards or four standards so there are different types of doc types for every version of uh, html we have different doc types for uh, html version 4 uh, strict transition and frame set there are three types of uh, uh, doc types for them and also we have uh, um, another type, kind of doc type for hex html which we are going to see very soon okay so these are the various uh, doc types for html version 4 okay html version 4 is the with the, is the version which is just uh, uh, previous to the uh, html uh, 5 and after html version 4 it came xhtml uh, 1.0 okay so this is these are the doc types for uh, xhtml uh, xhtml which which came right after the html 4 version and all these doc types are very scary and uh, one can't uh, remember all these things so it's not a it's a good deal to copy paste them the programmers used to copy the whole thing or uh, put some default uh, uh, put these things in a default file whenever they are going to create a new uh, .html page 
so this is how this is how the dog type of the html5 version looks okay so they cleaned all the mess and uh, they have made it uh, very simple uh, just a dog type uh, just a dog type and html that's it nothing uh, so it's also it's all are, all cases are acceptable it's a case sensitive uh, thing okay so uh, it's a case uh, sensitive thing or not not case sensitive so if you uh, write in different cases also it treats all of them as okay okay so that is about the introduction to html uh, so see you in the next lesson goodbye